Bradley Manning has been sentenced today. He will serve 35 years in prison. Now, I'm not very happy about this, but there are two sides to this discussion. On the one hand, this is good news because originally it was supposed to be 120 years maximum, and it is not that full sentence. The judge had knocked that down to 90 years maximum, uh, but now we get the final ruling. The final ruling is it will be a, a total of 35 years. Of course, I don't think he should be serving any time. I think the time he served is sufficient, and I don't think he even really committed a crime, as I'll explain more in a second. But uh, he's going to be eligible for parole in eight years when he's 33 years old. Whether or not he'll get the parole is a different story. There's no way of knowing uh, whether or not they'll be more lenient or more uh, strict with him in terms of uh, good behavior paying off or not paying off. If I had to guess, and keep in mind this is a pure guess, I'm not basing this on anything, I would say they're more likely to not give him, uh, grant him parole because the Obama administration and the government in general, the establishment, hates him. They feel betrayed by him because uh, he felt like he had a responsibility to the American people and not to the people in power. He uh, kind of put up his middle finger to the old boys club and to the establishment and said, no, I care about the American public, not about you. But uh, keep in mind, the government was unable to prove their biggest charge against Manning, which is that he aided the enemy. I mean, that's absurd at face value. They couldn't produce any evidence of a single example of his information helping the enemy, specifically helping al-Qaeda. In fact, if that uh, reasoning held true, and they did somehow convict him on that, you could basically say any journalist in the country is helping al-Qaeda al simply by releasing news stories. I mean, we always release news stories. A lot of them have to do with the war on terror. I mean, their reasoning is, hey, he released information. It might have helped al-Qaeda in one way or another. Any journalist you could say that that's the case for. So, of course, they didn't get a conviction on that. Uh, however, they were somehow able to get a conviction on six counts of espionage. Now, when you look at the definition of espionage, it typically has to do with governments, other governments. So who was Bradley Manning spying for? Which government? Was it the Russians? Was it, uh, I don't know, you tell me, the North Koreans? No, of course he wasn't doing espionage. That's absurd, if anything, and I've heard many uh, journalists point this out and progressive commentators, they've said, if anything, he's spying for the American people. There's nothing wrong with that. In fact, that's the whole idea of the First Amendment. You're supposed to have freedom of, the, freedom of speech, freedom of the press, in order to get out information so we can make, uh, come to rational conclusions about the direction of policy, specifically in this case, foreign policy. Now, uh, understand, what did Manning do? Well, he released classified documents that exposed war crimes, it exposed torture and abuse, and it showed our soldiers laughing as they killed civilians and Reuters journalists from an Apache helicopter. That is probably what he's most known for. He had leaked that information to WikiLeaks, and it was a big story that, oh my god, our soldiers just flat out murdered a bunch of journalists. So the reason why he released it, he said, look, I had a moral problem with it. This isn't classified information. Something that's classified is like the nuclear launch codes. What the fuck does this have to do with classified information? We need to release this information so that the American people can tell their politicians we want out of Iraq or we want out of Afghanistan. We're supposed to be making allies over there and spreading democracy, but we're killing civilians and we have the videotape to prove it. Now. Uh, here's where this gets absolutely maddening and you feel like you live in the twilight zone. How many of the people that committed the war crimes got time in prison? How many of the people in the Apache helicopter who we know killed journalists because we have it on tape, we know that they didn't know if it was an insurgent or a terrorist or somebody else, how many of them uh, went to prison? Zero. How many of them had a trial? Zero. Uh, how about the people who approve the torture program? Whether you go as high up as George W. Bush and Dick Cheney, or you go lower uh, on, on the rung, people in the CIA, or you go for the people at the Justice Department that signed off on it. Or how about the people who actually just physically headed the torture program and did the torture? The head of torture at Abu Ghraib, for example. How much time did he get? No time whatsoever. So get this, if you commit war crimes, you don't go to jail. 
But if you talk about committing war crimes, you go to jail. In what world does this make sense? Now, it actually gets worse, and I know it's almost impossible. How could it get worse? So let's end to this. Quote, after a 14-month investigation that Manning's treatment at uh, Quantico was cruel, inhuman, and degrading, the judge said the conditions had been excessive uh, in relation to the government's legitimate interest in holding Manning, so she granted the soldier an additional 112 days credit for enduring those conditions. So Bradley Manning was uh, isolated for nine months. He was in solitary confinement for nine months. Okay, talk to any psychological expert. That's torture. No if, ends, or buts about it. You go insane, right? So the judge said, oh, well, they, maybe it was a little excessive. We'll give you 112 days off of your 35-year sentence. Oh, you're so kind, judge, let me tell you. And get this, Manning's sentence is one year longer than that given to a man who offered to sell secrets to Iraq during the first Gulf War. Isn't that incredible? Somebody who actually committed treason, who's actually a traitor, got less time than Bradley Manning who uh, was looking out for the American people and released relevant information and flat out did the job of the press. The press is supposed to do. And I got one more. Uh, he also, uh, his prison sentence is five ye years longer than that of a man who passed, quote, sophisticated defense secrets to communist East Germany. Serving more time in prison, again, over an actual person who committed treason, an actual traitor. It's beyond ridiculous. I can't believe this is happening in the United States of America. Today, it feels like we live in a comical banana republic. Free Bradley Manning ASAP.